是冷食仔妻。左面。哎呀呀！好麻。哟，我们吃 turtles， turtles。Hello。Hello。你在做什么？你在你在录 video 啊 ？Right, so we're actually here. Um, my cousin's not here yet. He's pretty much like my my um buddy here. We do a lot of stuff together. Oh yeah, got my laptop back. Man, it's been a long time since we've been in this house. The last time I've been here was like two years ago. Oh wait, is that my cousin? Oma. Bark. Yo, red packets. Oh no, bro. Oh my goshness. Let's blow everything up. How do you open this crap? Oh, it's stapled. Okay, never mind. So we played a lot of firecrackers, and here's a few highlights for you. I wonder what this. Cherry bomb. I wonder what. Yeah, <laughs> it's a cherry bomb. <laughs> I wonder what what type of crap this thing can do. <laughs> oh crap! Oh my gosh! <laughs> that is okay. That is actually loud. Holy! Open all of them. Okay. Oh, we have the bigger cones. I wonder oh. what these are. <laughs> That's right. Try it. Cone. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. What the heck? Oh. oh! Holy crap. Bro, that is bright. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Add all of it. Oh my god. Wait, Add this in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. That is bright. Holy crap. That's blinding. Oh my gosh, it's actually hot. I can feel the heat from here. Oh my gosh, that's the sun. Here my cousin decided to lit three boxes of sparklers. And it was extremely bright. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I didn't record much because we were too busy having fun, so that's all for tonight. But don't worry, the fun is far from over. Uh, what a wonderful day. Wow, check that out. Very amazing. Oh shit. The spider web on me. Bro, why are the spider webs here? Never mind. It's fine. Okay, I got my cherry bomby. It's too close to people's house. Don't worry. This is all good in the hood. Holy. <laughs> this cherry blew up only about three meters away from me, but don't let that distance fool you. I had my ears closed, otherwise I could have actually went deaf. This thing is seriously loud and it never translates on video. I also lit these smaller ones to see how they blow up in slow motion. These are still really loud, which is why you can see me cover my ears from the shadow, but it's nowhere near as loud as the cherries. Sometimes these cherry bombs can blow up and form vortex rings, which look really cool in person.
I'm pretty curious what's what's actually inside of these things. Let's find out. Okay, I think I'm gonna break this open somewhere else because I have a feeling it's gonna get messy. Oh, that was easier than I thought. Okay, this is actually honestly really, really dangerous. I have a feeling it's gonna like ignite from this heat of the sun. I believe that's flash powder. And that shit ignites like almost instantly. Like it, it's blinding, I'm telling you. I've seen this thing ignite before. <laughs> oh, that's flash powder. So my cousin had the idea of covering the lid before the bomb go off, but I wasn't fast enough and I didn't manage to close my ears before it went off. And I experienced what I would call the deafening effect, mostly on my left ear. I went nearly deaf. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I covered it too, too late. My left ear, oh my gosh, my left ear is almost deaf. You know that ringing sound you hear when you're exposed to a sudden extremely loud noise? That's the deafening effect. But don't worry, it's usually just temporary ear damage. My hearing went back to normal after a few minutes. After that, my cousin had this bright ass idea of blowing up an entire box of kuei bahulu. I changed the smell to life though, I feel bad. Smuggling this shit in prison, there's like a bomb inside. They blow out like half the imagine, imagine a stranger like 50 meters away just see <laughs> 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 Imagine that. It'd be like, ooh, it's not. It's just false. This works. It would be like our new good tradition. We bought like one cake for you. Bahulu bomb. Imagine doing this in Africa, bro. <laughs> Bahulu for you, Bahulu for you. <laughs> Oh boy, let's set the camera up. <laughs> Not a single one of these pieces are edible now. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh my god! Oh. It's still right here! Oh my god! That's the lid, the corridor's gone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> no, that, that's not waste anymore. <laughs> I mean, isn't it worth it? Maybe. <laughs> Crumbs and powder, man. Of they just went back to their original form. <laughs> <laughs> flour and egg to cake. Now they just went back to flour and egg. <laughs> <laughs> just undo their entire baking process. <laughs> Unfortunately, my cousin was leaving on that day, and I'm still not sure why their parents decided to leave so early. And it was also getting dark and started to rain, so I lost the evening for some good quality slow mo shots. There were quite a lot of fireworks being lit that night, and I got a lot of cool shots, including slow motion ones. I think they look beautiful. We lit our own fireworks too. Pow.
We also tried lighting the cherry bombs in a puddle after the rain to get some cool slow-mo splashes, you know? I unfortunately did not see that motorcyclist coming by and the cherry bomb happened to blow up just a few meters away from him. I feel really bad. We also lit smaller fireworks, but a lot of these were malfunctioning and a lot of them just blew up on the ground. Some even flew sideways and blew up over at the neighbors' houses and we got into quite some trouble. Then I got bored and decided to teach that little container lesson. Just kidding, more like I decided to abuse that little container. Alright, it's a brand new day. Got a rusted cup here and I'm gonna see what happens when I put the cherry bomb inside of it. Wow, that is hot. Oh my goodness, what is... This shit is crazy. Oh my goodness. That is absolutely busted. I'm actually super curious what happens if I stuck this cherry bomb right in the middle of this toilet paper roll. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh. Um. Let's hope no one questions this. I mean, it's toilet paper, so it shouldn't be polluting. We still have one of these big ones. I actually deliberately left this one just to light it for today because it's pretty sunny right now. I want to get a cool slow motion shot of it exploding. So light it up like this, put a brick on top of it. And I want to see if it can bust through this can, because if it can, then it's pretty comparable to our cherry bombs right here. The brick literally came off. I wasn't expecting that. Oh crap. Oh crap. Here comes the smell. Well, cutting it. Oh, shit. Decapitated. This whole thing is falling apart in the seams. Oh, yes. Yes. There you go. Nice. Pretty expected. <laughs> Bro, that is crazy.
Okay, I must say, that was actually one of my favorite results. If I had to, I would rate that one just right after our Bahulu bomb. Come on, nothing around here is gonna top that one up. I think I'm gonna use this little metal container thingy. I think it's a compartment from a motorcycle or something. You know what, this time we're not gonna clean it. I'm just gonna keep the dust on and let the explosion create a bigger puff of smoke. Also, um, I think I'm gonna put the brake on top of this. Like, as soon as I light it, it's covered like that. I just want maximum damage to that little metal thingy. I wanna see like, had a hole or potentially a really severe dent or something. Please go further, man. You do not wanna lose your ability to hear things. I was wrong. Where did that? I have no idea where the other part went. Something flew all the way that way. Oh my. What the? Oh my gosh. How did you go in there? It absolutely broke it. This is solid metal here. I guess it's old, but I was expecting a dent or something, not an actual fracture. I guess you hit it with a hammer, it would break like that. So now we know what these puppies can do to metal. The question now is, what can these do to wood? Only one way to find out. Are you kidding me? Is this actually the entire extent of the damage? Wow. Why do people even use metal? Oh, it's full of water. Okay, there's... Uh, why won't you come off? Okay, screw that. We're just gonna use... Oh, sh screw that. I'm just gonna use the bucket like this. Dang, I'm not looking forward to carrying this whole bucket all the way there. Goodness, you will not believe what I went through to bring this freaking bucket of water here. I guess we can light this up now. I'm just gonna put this little cherry in here. And I think it floats. Yeah, it floats there. Okay, it's really windy right now. I want it to stay in the middle, bruh. That was exactly what I didn't want to happen, but the wind just kept blowing it away. It keeps blowing it to the side, and now this happened. That's disappointing. Okay, I don't know why I did not realize this, but there's actually a glass bottle just on the floor right here. Oh my goodness. If the cherry bomb fits perfectly in here, let's crack it open. Ah oh man. Oh no, you've got to be shitting me. I did record that in slow motion. Honestly, that could have been one of my mo my favorite shots in slow motion. Sun's getting down too. The explosion knocked over the camera this time. So far, that's like the only time it happened. Okay, I'm gonna plant this bomb like underground this time, like a little landmine or something. Except that it doesn't get triggered by pressure. Bro, 
what's with it knocking a camera all the time now? Okay, so you now know the potential of these cherry bombs. Pretty powerful, extremely loud, deafeningly loud in fact. I am not going to light another cherry bomb being anywhere closer than 10 meters away without my ears closed because I have already learned my lesson. Now as much as I love these cherry bombs and how cool they like, you know, blow up and stuff, they're still all the same. Like they all explode with the same power because they're, they're the same, they're the same cherry bombs. Now granted, though, the power of the cherry bombs are pretty impressive, but I kind of want to go further, all right? So all right, I'm going to crack these things open inside of this thing because I don't want those, those are like probably potentially toxic powder from going everywhere. How am I going to do this? Let's do it over here first. Okay, first, I'm not sure how to open this. It doesn't really twist. I'm kind of afraid of twisting it because, you know, friction is going to lead to like sparks. Now, I know it's plastic, so sparks is really unlikely to happen. But what if it does happen? My fingers are gone. You know, I'm just going to beat it with a lighter. <laughs> Lightly, all right? Lightly first. I don't want to... I'm really not sure what's going to happen. And I'm, I'm scared. I'm, on, I'm honestly scared. Imagine beating it or ignite it. So it turns out it's pretty easy to crack these cherries open. No wonder there's tape around it so that it prevent children from like eating it when they have access to the flash powder if they somehow got it open. Please don't try this at home without adult supervision or if you're below 18. I mean, I know I'm, I'm actually below 18, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I have enough experience in these stuff to like, you know, do it myself. Yeah. Get this flash powder out. And yeah, I'm wearing a mask right now because I'm gonna be breathing this type of stuff in. So if you're ever trying this yourself and you're somehow stubborn like me, wanna try it yourself, then at least take your precautions, all right? I don't want you to get hurt. All right, five of these so far. I think I'm gonna crack open like 10 of these. We have like 20% of all our cherries left and there's pretty much no way I'm using all of them. So I'm collecting all of these flash powder to put it into this little broken bottle here and I don't know, probably gonna light it up and see how bright it gets. Apparently these shit, when they light up, they light up bright, super bright. All right, so it's been some time and I've set out all the plastic covers on the table like this so it's easy to count. I just so happened to stop at exactly 20 cherry bombs. So there's about 20 cherry bombs worth of flash powder inside of this plastic bottle here. I've just washed my hands so I don't wanna dirty them by touching it again. But yeah, that is quite a lot of flash powder, I will say. I've decided to leave this amount of cherry bombs for future uses because, I don't know, like maybe I might want to use that for self-defense or something. We also got a lot of fuses and I'm not quite sure what to do with them. I guess I'll decide later. But anyway, we have to expect like at least a 20, 20 times larger ignition. I'm honestly extremely scared to light this up. Like, how do I even light this up? Using these fuses from the cherry bomb covers isn't really helpful because I'm not sure if you know this if you light the fuses like the firework or firecracker fuses some particles like come off of them and some of them are even still white red hot and what if one just happens to drop into into those powder then the whole thing is just gonna ignite way sooner than I've anticipated and it's gonna be really dangerous all right let me do a little demonstration here I'm just gonna get grab a tiny bit of flash powder i can't even see that this is a very small amount i'm just gonna put it down here all right way more than i thought it was pretty hard to see how just exactly how much i took but still that is not a lot i'm not gonna use one of these things to light it because that way i can keep a decent distance away from my finger and the powder I'm gonna record in slow motion to see just how quickly this thing ignites and how brightly it, it ignites as well. All right, I've lowered the exposure so you can see. I closed my eyes there. Even with my eyes closed, I could see the light. Holy crap. You can see just how incredibly quickly that thing lights up and how incredibly brightly it lights up as well. So it's it's gonna be extremely dangerous if you have this in large amounts. Like if I were to use this thing, let me just put it out right now because I really don't want to ignite this bottle right here. If I put it in right now, I would literally die. 
I would go blind first of all, but whether or not I would survive the the extreme heat and brightness is another thing. The sun's gonna going down as well, so don't really have much light for slow motion anymore. Fuses wouldn't really work because we don't have a long enough fuse for this. I'm not even sure if I can take this out and tie it together. Hmm. Ooh. Okay. Oh my gosh, what powder is this? Probably flammable or toxic. I really don't want to inhale that. This fuse might work. Let me try getting more of this. Okay, this is one of the small fireworks. Yeah, Force we pull it. Oh. Okay, got it out. Okay, this might work because it's pretty long and it's bent on the end, so I think I can kind of like stick them together. Could try taping them together. All right, I got quite a lot of this fuse now. Let's try you taping them. It's pretty dark already. Okay, I have this tape, like, well, unpacking all of the cherry bombs. So I'm gonna try to use this. I'm not sure whether the fuse would burn through the tape and like cause them to all fall apart. This could work, honestly. All right, so I've tied them like something like this. So I'm just gonna tie them all together and see if I end up with the fuse long enough. Okay, this is taking really long and I got something like this now. I think it's long enough actually. Assuming if the, the fuse doesn't burn through the tape and cause it to fall apart, then this, I would, this would actually work. Stick it through there. Oh no, it's gonna topple over. I don't want flash powder all over my body. Oh my gosh! This could actually work. I'm kind of scared that it's, the particles are just gonna go in. It's actually stuck pretty nicely in there. Okay, this is still very, very dangerous. That doesn't seem like a lot of fuse left. But I'm gonna try it. I'm crazy. Call me crazy if you want to. 20 freaking cherry bombs of flash powder inside a freaking bottle. I Okay, first of all, I'm gonna make some predictions. I don't think this will actually explode because the explosion sound comes from the fact that the flash powder is enclosed in a really tight space. So as long as there's no pressure buildup, there shouldn't be an extremely loud pop. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hope and pray that the fuse is long enough. Oh boy. Let's hope this goes well. Let's get this stupid bucket out of the way. Oh boy. For safety purposes, I'm gonna light this. So that we I don't need a thick con a direct flame into that thing. Let's do this. Oh my gosh! I almost got, I almost got death. That was an explosion. Oh my gosh! So as it turns out, I was so anxious about lighting my bomb and the dangers it posed to us that I forgot to hit the record button on the iPhone. No, we don't have the slow motion. So we don't have the slow motion shot. I'm so bummed because the biggest reason why I'm doing these things is for observation purposes to see exactly how and what happens as I have great fascination towards explosions, fire and destruction. So about that explosion, it was the craziest moment of my life. Like, you don't get to see shit like this happen in your normal day-to-day -day life, man. My predictions were also completely blown off the roof because the explosion was so incredibly loud that I could hear distorted echo of the explosion, and it took me a long second to digest what had actually happened. I was about 20 meters away, and I didn't have my ears closed because my expectations did not meet reality, and even from that distance, I still experienced the deafening effect. To give you a bit of insight, I've done my research and found that normal cherry bombs, which are the ones about an inch in diameter, which is the size of the ones we had, have about a gram of flash powder inside of them. So my bomb had approximately 20 grams of flash powder. Imagine what would have happened if I didn't have an exposed container like that. Containing it in an enclosed space would have definitely exacerbated the sound and release a much crazier boom. I also want to stress just how incredibly dangerous that was. All that deadly powder was exposed like that and I had the fuse placed in that precarious position. 
If anything went wrong, this video wouldn't have been up on YouTube right now. So you should really think thrice before you attempt to commit your suicide. I tried standing in a position like this to stay as far away as I could from the bomb, but deep down I still knew that it was futile because, might. Look at that freaking explosion. After finding out that fireworks are actually illegal in Malaysia, and the fact that flash powder can actually ignite just from static electricity. Man, I think it's for the better that I do not create another bomb. After my parents found out about my bomb, they were also worried for me and did not allow me to make another one. The rest of my cherry bombs have already been thrown away and I was a little heartbroken because this isn't stuff that you can just buy as it's not a consumer available substance. And even though I wasn't gonna make another bomb due to the dangers, I did have the idea of spreading the powder in a line just to find out how quickly the flash powder ignites. It would, it would've been really interesting. Anyway, it's been another fun new year while it lasted. We might do this again next year though. And if you have stuck around till the end, then you're amazing.